Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to game three of six here at the Diane Mosco Foundation Shootout. It's two state champs going at it here today. Timo Tip Charter, the champions of 5A last year, against the Reading Red Knights, a new look Red Knights team, both in terms of personnel and in the coaching staff. We'll get into that as we go along here today. My name's Bob Long, and if you're just joining us here, you'll note that the games are a little bit delayed. We're coming on after 3 o'clock p.m. Now let's meet the Red Knights of Running. Always bring a nice crowd here today. Daquan Burgess, the senior guard. Nick Chapman played a huge role each of the last three years. Yadiel Cruz, one of the stars on this team. Aliko Samano, he's a senior as well. Rosario, a sophomore guard at six foot, one of the guys that Francis Camara said took one of the biggest jumps from one summer to another. He has thrust himself into that key role. A battle of state champs were underway. Bob Long, Bruce Badgley, Danny Rovey, and Brady Joyce. Let's get it underway here at the Diane Mosco Foundation Shootout. Yeah, and I'm really interested to see, you know, who's going to be able to impose their will on their opponent first. Well, Yano White to the hole, giving up some inches, but the quick step off the bounce, get to the 10. Can't argue with that look, and he cashes in. Carnell Henderson. Yadiel Cruz. Osamanu. Tough defensive assignment and one. Coach of Redding appreciated the no call. Great cut by Yadiel Cruz. Better pass from the outside by Nick Chapman. Noel hangs and hit. Attempted that last year. Immo tap to the hoop. The long, lanky strides of Zahir Muhammad Gray. Another good look. Count it and one. Take a breath, folks. It's the same old red and high, that's for sure. Come on, Noel. Picks the pocket. Drives at it himself. Good finish. Just so quick. Yeah, exactly. He maintained composure the entire way through. It's hard to do. Osamanu, well, good feed there from Rosario. Two of the best to ever play at Tim Emotep. That's a third right there. Ahmad Noel. Deep three. Oh, man. Give away, Noel. Dunk it with two hands. Chapman off the back screen, up and under. Oh, That's so nice. What a beautiful fake. He was going to pass on it. Ahmad Noel. He is just so good. 35 24. Imhotep leads. Good look at the horn. Yes. What a beautiful pump fake for a runner three pointer. Inside they go again. This time you can count it and one. That is just. Back cut into traffic. Somehow got it up and in. Yadi oh, Cruz. Tough pass. Ill advised. Left the floor. Chapman up and under. Oh, how did he get that from the best? That's what really nice. right there. Chapman. Noel has all day to think about it and knocks it down. There's an open three. Much needed. Chapman. Arrow. Inside. Hangs and hits. Over the top of none other than Ahmad Noel Danny. How about that? And that's what Coach Camaro wants to keep seeing out of his guys. That's an unbelievable move. Cash it in from deep. Cornell Henderson. Ahmad Noel rises and hits. Jeremiah Carl, he has just been excellent. 
key part of the future, the next great guard at Reading. That's good from R.J. Smith, the next great guard at Imo Stephan. Jeremiah Gamara. Tough shot for Cruz, yes. Cruz hand in the face there um, for some high school programs, but both these teams are so hard working and so hard fighting. Great vision. And that's how you finish it. That's two dunks in a row, the transition game for Imhotep as Reading sinks. And it's the new look, Andre Noble led Imhotep Panthers. They win this one convincingly here tonight. One mental lapse here, one mental lapse there, one mental lapse there, they add up, all right? Then the game goes from a three-point game to a 12-point game, okay? That's how quick it can turn. That's why it's so important that you're fully focused and locked in on every possession. I have confidence in each and every one of you, but at the end of the day, the question is, are you going to play hard? And are you going to play hard every opportunity you get? It's all about your preparation. Now we're going to see what y'all really made of. Because guess what? You knew you were playing best teams in the state. That's supposed to prepare you for what's about to happen in the county. So now you open up county play on Tuesday. Are you going to turn around and take care of your fucking backyard because you just played the hardest non-league schedule? All right, you should come back to the county and whoop up and take all your frustrations out on everyone else. Or are you going to play down to the level of those people in the county and then make every fucking game a dogfight? This is where you show your growth and your maturity. You took your lumps. You played five games, you got three losses. You took your lumps. Stop taking lumps. Start dishing them out.